sort of matchup experience overall, potentially as well, or just being able to take it. But All right. I'm I'm excited for this matchup. I'm sorry oh, to cut yeah. you off there, but I'm really excited. I was about to bring it up. Well, I was I was I'm excited because these are both these are both of my greatest friends. A Yegi versus Tennis. Oh man, this is gonna be a really exciting one to watch here. Tanas, very well known. Same thing goes for Yegi. And both these players are from Ohio too. Right, um, we got great So Ohio, Ohio team kill. Exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, Tennis been uh, been on the climb lately. Um, I mean, I mean, hasn't been putting out like as much like uh, content or whatever. Like, or we haven't like seen many results from him. But uh, he's actually been on the commentator grind as well. Uh, yeah, we just saw him here wave pools A. Did a great job with Harpuya. And now, now he's going to play on stage here to show that not only is he good at casting, but he's also good at playing. So we're going to see it here, game one at Merchant Court. And this is a good stage. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this is a very good Eliana stage. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, the, the corner pressure off the sides can be really, really super well, and especially where uh, Yagi's going to be placing steam. Like, like, see right there, uh, he he's kind of in the air a little bit to set steam downward, closer to the platform, so that if if Yagi gets uh, spent... Oh, sorry, I almost called him by his real name. Uh, if Yagi gets tennis like in this position where near the platforms and he's stuck in the steam, that allows Yagi to get a beautiful strength. And up till actually reaching, get to go into the nair. First stock going to Yagi. Indeed. And right now, oh my god, Tanas looking for some sort of way to reset neutral here, but he's gonna have to get back on the stage first. And that is way easier said than done against Eliana. Yeah, this corner pressure play is really, really good from Yegi right now. And yeah, this is this is where it gets really hard is uh like trying to recover wise against Eliana because you really have to under like you have to know your drifting options because if you don't drift right, like you know, in the correct way. Or you're just stuck in a position to get uh, stronged off the side. There's not much you can really do about it. You kind of have to just take the hit and go like that. He's not going to take just the hit. He's going to take all the hits. Going to lose that stock there. And guess what? Three stocks, 131%. Yegi is on fire right now. I mean, yeah, he's got the burn on him, but he's playing like he's on fire. I was, I was, I was going to ask, was that a, was that a better burn pun? No, it wasn't intended. Okay. But you know what? We'll take it. Okay. All right, there we go. Tennis taking a snock. Uh, does the double up here there. But now in a position to get, uh, yeah, this is where the steam came into play. Ooh, not going to be able to get the overheat board strong, unfortunately. Ah, but that certainly the, oh, will. Whoa, whoa. I really thought, I really thought Yucky was going to hit, like, the side, uh, the side, side attack right after, uh, right after Tennis got hit by the rocket. <laughs> that would have been sick. Oh, it absolutely would have been. But you know what? It's still killed nonetheless, and it looks like we're gonna get a decent amount of bans here. We got Fire Capital banned, and we're, it looks like we're gonna be going to, to Spirit Tree. Definitely my favorite stage in the game. Absolutely beautiful stage. Is and it? Wonderful music. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, Flashy Goodness did, did kill over the soundtrack. Absolutely. And for game two here, I mean, a 10S has to be like coming up with ideas of how to be able to deal with this offensive ah. pressure from Yegi because he's not giving Tenes anywhere to be able to come back onto the stage. He's trying to find home. Yeah. Oh, and this is a really bad position for Yegi. Oh, I I would have liked a little bit more fair from Tenes so that way uh, Yegi didn't have a chance to get back in the mech after laying down on the ground. But I mean, I'm pretty sure Tenes wanted to. Oh, great tech, but. Tennis probably wanted to end it off the style, so I, I respect it. Oh man, we're looking for the kill here at 125, Yegi. Great parry on the steam. All right, yeah, Tennis is uh, doing a good job just kind of trying to play center. Uh, it has more, a little bit more stage control than what we saw in the first game. His first game looked like he was jumping a little bit too much, which caught, which allowed him to get caught uh, because Yegi, Yegi was able to find the jumps and keep uh, Tennis in the lock which allowed him to get hit by the rockets. And you saw that, uh, you saw what happened. Absolutely. Oh, oh I don't oh. think, yeah, you're so, yeah, you're so far off the stage there. 
even no matter how far away you are from that wall to be able to do the wall jump you're not going to be able to make it back unfortunately there but that's oh. not going to deter 10s as he's going to get this extension going what the 73 heck? oh my god he's going for the style i i oh that was that would have been awesome i i like the setup he was going for Absolutely. Unfortunately, it's going to give Yegi a chance to keep advantage to himself now as he's looking for this kill. There we go. Upstrong is going to do the stock, but Tennis has got to be really careful here because he's at 81%, and one, one small string from Eliana is going to do it. Yeah, but as you say that as well, one small Ooh. string could be one giant leap for Zetterkind, but it's not going to be this one. Uh, but honestly, what a showing from both players. I really loved the adaptation play.